it's not strange to see old looking buildings around Colonial Williamsburg, but this one now covered in scaffolding was hiding in plain sight for decades before researchers established it had once been the Williamsburg Bray School. 1830s. Janice Kennedy has lived here all her life. She passed the building countless times not knowing its past and for her, history is empowering. I needed to know so I could teach my children who they were. So they would feel like when they walk into a space that they had every right to be there. They needed anybody to approve of them. The Bray School operated from 1760 to 1774. Its mission, to educate black children, most of them enslaved. Dr. Maureen Elgersman Lee is the director of the Bray School Lab at William & Mary. Well, the Bray Associates were based in London. They were rooted in the Anglican faith. And they had a real mission to educate children that they considered heathens. The enslavers actually thought they were saving their souls. Students ages 3 to 10 were taught to read the Bible and other books. The lessons geared toward teaching religion and obedience, but no one could control what they did with that knowledge. We do know that at least one child who went to the Bray School, Isaac B, ran away on two different occasions. The school closed when its teacher died, and in part because of the American Revolution, it never reopened. The building stayed on the campus of William & Mary, used for housing and other purposes, until it was moved in 1930 to make way for a new dormitory. After it was certified as a former home of the Bray School, Colonial Williamsburg bought the building and moved it to a new location last year. Matt Webster is the chief architect. They actually built the trailer underneath of the building and then we pulled it out we brought it here we had a foundation already built and then we slid the building across on big i-beams to where the, the the spot that you see it now webster's team is now working to restore the building before it's open to the public this fall so matt this this is wood from the 1700s it is this wood is from 1760 um, we know that because we actually did a study called dendrochronology so it's looking at growth patterns in trees, tree ring dating. We know that the trees felled to build this building were felled in the winter of 1759, 1760, spring of 1760, and the school opened September 29th, 1760. Now, Canada can see her family's history with her own eyes. One of her ancestors was a free black child who attended the Bray School. Elijah Jones there. She was overcome with emotions when she first went into the building after learning its true history. I came to describe how surreal that was and be able to look out the window and walk where they possibly walked. Wonder how many of those children that were in those buildings from different times were actually a part of me, not just the one that we know about, but how many more. When you walked through it, what'd you feel? A lot of emotion, joy, uh, sorrow. I wish my mother was here to know about it. I wish my grandfather was here to know about it. She thinks about her family, who've been in this area since they were brought here, and just how far they've come. They planted those seeds. They cast our seeds to the wind. The wind picked them up and took them everywhere, and we are everywhere. We've impacted this nation. So that shows how powerful we are, how we thrive, and that's why the story's so important. So the Brace School is set to open to the public in September while Colonial Williamsburg works on the physical structure. Scholars at the Brace School lab are working to gather oral mm. histories and make contact with descendants of the students who went to school there. And we're actually going to meet one of those scholars who has her own family connection to the school coming up uh, in the third hour of, of today. Someone uh, who is a descendant of a kid who went to school there mm. and also a descendant of one of the slave owners as well. Oh, wow. So coming up in the next hour. Yeah, Fascinating. Amazing they were able to yeah. move it. Yeah. Oh, move it like yeah. what an engineering <laughs> feat that was. And Not to mention the dating of 1759, the tree wood. fell in the winter. Yeah. Yeah. That's part of the structure. Wow. By the way, if you've never been to Colonial oh. Williamsburg, oh. Yeah. It's, it's, it's building after building that has yep. a story like wow. that. Wow. And the actors who work in there Beautiful. that bring the history to yes. life. Mm -hmm. amazing. Awesome. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.